All right, guys. Believe we are good to go. We'll just let some of the buddies join in. <clears throat> but that being said, let me get this out of the way. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. What is up? What it do? What it do, bros? It's Micro Mondays. You know what time it is? That Monday evening. How's everybody going? Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? Shout out what you guys are up to. Hope everybody had a great weekend. If you guys got some crawling in, if you're able to go attend some of the local comps in your area or uh, get some wrenching in, shout it out in the comments below. Buddy Dirt McGurk, you know our co host of Micro Mondays. And what it do, Burner? K. Oh, my boy. Orale, SA. Wow, what's good, G? Orale, Dirt McGurk, SA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, Mark, real quick. Best upgrade yeah, for up? a comp crawler. Go. Best upgrade for a comp crawler servo. There you go. Or you yeah. need that strength, guys, no matter what. Yeah. I'd say servo. There you go. Well, I'd say I'm assuming you already have the comp chassis built by that right. question. I would say servo too. It's a good 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 uh answer. KZX driver, what's good, brother? Corey in the house. Sheesh, Lacosa, what's good? Maybe yeah, four by four. four. From New Zealand, what's up, homie? Yes, sir. sir. Boy, Jake, Alex K, SoCal Crawler, G Green. Sheesh. Damn. Burner just got people jumping back from SoCal. He wants to come back in October. Yo, you Make it September. Out? What did you say, brother? Sorry about that. You got you think, yeah, you see Burner? I didn't get to see Burner. Shout out if you guys got to catch Burner while he was in the uh, SoCal NVNM area. <clears throat> Jab, make it come, make make a trip to come back September if you can. Pro line by the fire will be going on, but. Uh, yeah, dude. We got our homie we can, we can, Harrison built a DUV Dementor, crawled it up on the rocks here in Canada this weekend. Damn, straight to the rocks? That's what I like to hear. Fresh build. That's dope. Mark, what did you do this weekend, homie? Oh, let's see. More paint stuff, dude. It's still, I don't know. This is some, this is some heat here, bro. It's fucking hot. Oh. So, dude, but, that blast that heat we, wave right we, run out of, we run out of content at the end, or if anybody wants to see a bonus, um, <clears throat> Mikey threw down on another piece for the indoor course in the living room. So it's getting oh, big. Shoot. Surprised my sister's not mad at him yet. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on that, and we'll count the weeks how how long it is till you guys got to move it. Nah, it's cool. We don't hang out there. That's <laughs> like. Nice. It's like storage and like a work area for Mikey. And Even then better. That thing now on the floor. That's dope. It's pretty rad. Yeah. It's pretty wicked. But yeah. Well, that, I like, oh, I got to, uh, I know what you were up to. So put some primer on this finally to give it some depth to kind of see what I'm working with. What's that? Uh, RC Print Lab. First gen for That is looking epic, dude. And that's just primer so like it just goes to show what a nice print that is except oh, for wait, can you get that forerunner body rc print lab yeah. <clears throat> oh nice so oh, yeah the homie from uh hawaii yeah pj <clears throat> damn cool he's a cool cat yeah. yes sir yeah Hit up rc print lab i just saw uh jerry in here still got a couple more touches for your trucks buddy and then i'll mail them out yeah, just the minor I'm stuff, sure. but it's the details that make what you uh, <laughs> get from me. Stoked to see what's coming out of the Dirty Customs Garage. I think that's a good uh, segue into you got something down the pipeline you want to make available soon, like a limited run of something? Yeah, man, I got some swag. Oh, shoot. You guys hear yeah. that? I'm sure so, you guys maybe have seen... Uh, Umi, 
you haven't seen these, but <clears throat> we didn't talk about some Max custom prints. Damn. So, so these go, I'll throw in probably two or three of them and everything I sell, sell or send out for free. And then I'm going to get some envelopes and stamps and I'll just send you guys. Hit me up in the DM. You want some of these. Uh, there you go. Spread the word. That's dope, man. Was it uh, LA Stickers or Stickers LA? Got yeah. Some limited edition ones. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's for sure. The big boy ones, the, the, the real one to one truck stickers right there. Yeah, these are, you put them on your truck window and your daily driver, your fucking hydro flask. Put them everywhere, but I only have like 50 of each. So these I might have to sell. Sell, or maybe we'll do some giveaways. Like maybe tonight we'll do, let's do a giveaway. There you yeah. go. Both of these, these limited edition ones, and I'll be able to throw on a stack of the other ones for the winner. Bam, guys. Definitely oh. get your rigs, get your. What are you going to say, Mark? No, go ahead. I was going to say, definitely pretty cool. You can uh, hit up Dirt McGurk. You can get your rigs uh, slapped on, your tr your one to one trucks, your workshop, scale garages. Hit him up, guys. He's got some cool sticker packs, and I think he's got some stuff coming, even more stuff yeah, coming. Is that, am I right? Back to you were talking about Umi, right? Yes, so sir. I sent him these logos digitally, and he has done two things patches, which are the Velcro kind, slap them on your backpack, put them on your hat, hat and peel it off, put another one on, whatever you want to do. Um, so those will be available to you. Those I, I definitely have to charge for because those aren't cheap to get done. Same oh, with the yeah. uh, the hats, yo, oh, your boy Umi, bro. Oh. He does some very nice work, and shout out to him and Stink RC for already rocking. They got the limited edition ones themselves. They created has that logo on one side, and then it has that logo on the other side. I only ordered one logo on each hat, so. Oh yeah, that is dope. So these, I'm not trying to make money on. Trust me. So thirty plus shipping, hit me up. There you guys go. Hit up Dermot and Gert for your cut. It'll have to be a pre-order too, because I don't have enough cash laying around to stack them. Pre-orders are quick, right? Yeah, just quite all right with me. I do have, I have one right now. Extra of these. Oh, okay. first DM guys yeah. gets it first, or maybe we'll give it away next week. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Definitely, I'm going to hop on that list, bro. I'll DM you later. All right. Well, that is epic, dude. Can't wait to That's get some cool. flag from the famous Thurman Kirk, a.k.a. Dirty Customs. So, guys. Honestly, Steve, I got to say, you're always always been since we met, like, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. Dude, do this. You should put yourself out there, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm back in the cut. So, honestly... <laughs> Thank you for swag, because I don't think I would have gotten swag without you pushing me. Dude, I think it's pretty dope because everybody loves slaps. Everybody loves hats. Summertime right now. Everybody loves patches, you know? This is the right place to share, so I think that's pretty dope, and we all got your back, homie. So let's, let's show him some love, guys. If you guys like what he's rocking, want to get your own sheet, definitely hit him up with a DM. Um, with that being said, dude, we got a lot of stuff to kind of talk about. That's why I was trying to be quick about that. <laughs> no, you're okay. No, I'm okay. Um, first yeah. off, guys, it's a good show. Yeah, it's gonna be a good show. So if you guys are hanging out, definitely hang out for the long haul. You don't want to miss out. <clears throat> Let me take my phone off. We got. Cow RC in the house, guys. Cow RC, the RC maintenance king. They are blessing the Micro Monday show pretty much the whole month of July. And they've been uh, wanting to give back to the Micro RC community. And tonight we'll be giving away one of these magnetic uh, screw catcher flat mats. And as well, someone's going to get the big screw catcher work mat with the pockets. Both of them guys, just like my big one you guys see here, they're magnetic as well as they're laminated. 
So you can uh, take like a dry erase marker and write on it, write your notes down. It wipes off easily. So check them out, guys, if you need something to stay organized um, in your workshop. These things definitely saved my life, especially with those little SCX24 screws. Dude, flying around everywhere. That's a good point right there. Yeah, see, I could take like a regular screw, all right? Well, I think this one's a black oxide stainless one, so I could, let's see. One these guys right here. Here's some little SCX 24 screws right there. I don't know if these are magnetic. Oh, yeah, there you go. We got a yeah. heavy one. And then, of course, you have SCX 24 ones. They don't go anywhere. So that's why I like about them. Keep them all in one place. So shout out, guys. If you want to win these, stay tuned because I'm going to put your guys' name in a spin the wheel. Um, you have to be live in order to win, as well as you have to be following Cal RC on Instagram. And, you know, most of us, we're all friends. But if you have a private profile, make sure it's public. That way we can check you guys and see if you follow the rules. But let's get back to the show, guys. There's your heads up. If you want to win, got to do those things. Um, Yo, Steve, okay. we kind yes, of sir. segued out of what you were going to say, but your weekend, you were eventful. Mm. Yeah, Comp cities, Comp Nation right now, it feels yeah, like yeah. everywhere I've been uh, seeing guys, especially on the East Coast, West Coast, all the coasts. Um, over here in SoCal, like Mark was saying, we, we did have the – Sweet 24 goons uh, micro comp event over here in SoCal in Torrance, California this past weekend. Guys, if you were there, you would have known it was off the hook. I believe like over 40 people, 40 drivers hanging out, having good times, driving the micro trucks. And dude, that's nuts, bro. I wish we had that here. I mean, it's just getting bigger and bigger. dollars together. Man, shout Thank out you. if you guys uh, participate in comps or events or if there's anything near you guys, and shout out where you're where you're from. Let's try and link up, get these uh, events popping more often, and, uh, you know, dude, dude, every time I go to these over here, they're just getting bigger and bigger, and the 24 goons, they really organize it pretty good. They had um, class one, class two, and class three courses already <laughs> laid out all separated so there's multiple you know people running at the same time which is you know takes a lot of uh support and effort to get all that going at the same time so it's all the guys working that day and volunteering to judge and stuff appreciate you guys um it was crazy i actually took home first with the uh math designs cheat code the dermagurt dude that's Dirty it. customs that was wagon. a killer run dude I know you know that part pretty well, but that was a good course, and you fucking crushed it. They laid out the lines pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was no, a little bit different. different. I was seeing that, dude. It flowed, and it was nice, and it wasn't like ridiculous. <clears throat> you know, you got a speed in between them, kind of thing. You know, right. you could get crawly with it, and have fun, and do it right. That that was done very well. Yeah, I was jealous. I want to be there, dude. Try and make it out one time. Well, I'm sure. We're going to meet up pretty soon this year, maybe for pro yeah, yeah. and stuff. Um, um, class three, guys, if you saw the live, I did drive my Acres uh, You Rock shit. Buggy. That shit was dope. Someone just mentioned the drive shaft. <laughs> Dude, the infamous plastic drive shafts thing blew up mid run. I did uh, manage to repair it in time and finish in time, but. Still, the homies uh, Trevor and the homie Jason, the black and yellow arrow, they crushed it. They did great driving, so they came in first and second. I actually managed to place third, so I was actually really surprised. But, man, that class three course was, was epic. It was, like, one of my favorite courses for sure. Four-wheel steer on that for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. Right? The other yeah. two guys have four-wheel steer. I didn't see their live. Yeah, it was a uh, four-wheel steer allowed. 
Um, no, no. And like no, I, for, for, first and second place, did they have it too? First place won with a four wheel steer Dementor, which was okay. badass. It was clean run, super cool, nice, good driving for sure by the homie. And um, Jason, the black and yellow, he actually killed it in second place with a cheat code XL non four wheel really? steer. Non four wheel yeah. steer. Wow. Yeah, he okay. definitely killed it for sure. So what what axles are on that rig? Uh, um, I think he just had some straight axles, maybe plus fours, but that was it. Yeah. And some big old, uh, those tall Jora Hyrax ones, tires. Oh. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, he he kills it, especially with the 110s, definitely. So, with, hmm, did he not have that many reverses or something? Um, Cause that um, like, well, a lot of people had, uh, yeah, a lot of people had, had reverses and gates. Jason ran it pretty clean. I think he yeah. only did like one gate. So, so it was like a Think's clean run. Send it to me, please. I, I think, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think Umi has a recap. If not, I'll definitely check. Okay. Oh, I know uh, Miguel Cortez. Oh, you guys yeah. know who Miguel Cortez? Yeah. He has yeah. a YouTube channel. He's got the whole yep. recap on his YouTube channel. So, Perfect. and hopping back over to comps, uh, down in the islands in Guam at Gino, he finally no. was able to throw his comp over the weekend, guys, and it looked like an awesome turnout as well. Shout out to Gino, um, dude. I know he was stoked. He had some good su uh, support and sponsors, and overall it looked like a good time. And as well, if you guys didn't catch the action-packed event over in New Jersey at the Flagland uh, RV Park, I believe. We're about to uh, get our homie on right now, but guys, our buddy J-Team's RC is is destroying the events out there, man, with crazy, crazy events. He's got uh, uh, micro, micro classes. UTB 18 classes, 110 classes. Mark, everything is pretty pretty crazy out there. The terrain, you would like it too. But um, let me go ahead and send him an invite. <clears throat> we'll hop yeah, him up good, and man. bring him on, and we can uh, chat with him and get a little recap of how sick that event was. Uh, uh, what he, One guy, our buddy, uh, Fine Line Crawlers, he was uh, generous enough. Oh! <laughs> Oh boy, there's our guy right there. Yeah, I love it. You know how to bust it out with the glasses and the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> there we, we go, my boy. And, How you guys and in the house, we got J Teams RC guys. Yeah. Everybody say what's up. He's not. He's a familiar face to the Micro Mondays. Definitely not the first time. So we appreciate you hopping back on, brother. Appreciate you guys having me on. Thank you. Of course. Uh, Want to say how well, how did that event go and uh, what was the event called again? Uh, it was called the Summertime Comp and Chill, and it's uh, the J Team RC's RV Park at Hoagland's RC Speedway. The, the property actually has uh, two dirt oval tracks on it one for 10 scale and one's for fifth scale. And uh, the guy does those events, and then in the woods area. We're doing the uh, rock crawling events, and then uh, we're going to do some G6 events, recon events, uh, yeah. like a tough truck. Oh, man. Yeah, we got all kinds of big plans. Um, when it starts getting a little cooler, we're going to do a camping crawl, do like a little two-day event. Um, but this past the event was great. Uh, we had 50 micro entries. Oh, and dude, 60, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. 65. Uh, UTB 18 and 10 scale entries for yes. class one and class two. So it, it, it was awesome. Um, everybody had a great time. Um, you know, it, it, it couldn't be done by just myself. I, I appreciate everybody that helped. There's a bunch of uh, local guys that are part of J teams that all stepped in to help judge, um, taking pictures, just making sure everything ran smoothly. Uh, Joe Harrington, Jersey Crawler. He was uh, the one that set up all the 10 scale courses. Um, so they were definitely challenging, but everybody had a blast. 
uh, from serious skilled competitors to novice ones. And uh, you can't ask for a better day. Dude, I know I didn't want to get off that live stream that Fine Line Crawlers was hosting. He was just everywhere yeah. you look, dude, it was sick, man. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah, Everybody was just getting it. Yeah, he, he killed it for sure. Every time I looked over, he was live because I, I was running around judging 10 scale, judging the 24 scale, making sure everybody was good. And he, he killed it for sure going live and making sure that all you guys that weren't there were able to see it. Um, and I, I truly appreciate that because uh, that's what it's about. Um, so, it, it yeah. Was... I wanted to talk about your micro classes and um... – Dude, from what I saw, you got you got a nice option for like to enter in, you know, multiple classes. You got the I believe the stock class and then yeah. like a modified one. You want to share with the, those classes again, what you guys are categorizing as? Yeah, what we have is we have a, a kid's class. OK, and class one, which is the box stock class, which at the moment we have both of those running on the same course because we have a lot more kids then we do class one box stock, um, which I think maybe in the future I'm going to rechange the ruling for that so more people can enter it. Because right now I try to keep that for beginners only. So mm -hmm. new people wouldn't feel so intimidated. But most of the new people that come, they're not coming with the box stock rig anymore. They're coming with something like we have. <laughs> and they're like, it's my first comp. And I'm like, oh, you've been paying attention to Facebook and Instagram because you got a killer <laughs> rig. And they do quite well. And, and I, I understand it's the nerves of it all. And I think that's what makes all our, of our events fun. Um, but back to the classes, we have um, class two is the modified class, which is basically um, upgrades, any basic upgrades. You can't have axles bigger than plus four millimeter axles. Uh, the chassis has to be longer than the wheelbase, and the max tire size is 57 millimeters, and it has to have a body on it, no cage chassis. Um, so that class is very big, very competitive, um, but it's it's always good, you know, close scoring. Um, for, yeah, and it's not always the same people winning. There's there's a lot of people that it's their first time and they podium. Which I think is awesome. That's what. Because, yeah. You know, that is dope. Um, class three is our outlaw class, which has four wheel steer, fifty seven millimeter and up tires, um, cage chassis. Uh, class four is yeah no, no rear steer for class two. Yeah. Uh, thank Got you. Got it. Class four is our hard body class, which is essentially your class two rig and putting a hard body on it. So that way you didn't have to buy two rigs. It's the same specs and everything as class two, just the fact that you have to have a hard body. Um, and that- Can you compete in class two with class four rig? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you could take your- Somebody buy me a ticket out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you definitely should. Um, because in and class five, the last class at the moment is our buggy class, which is like the- uh, the Damn, Mias Ripper cool. right here, the Endura uh, buggy style, any style chassis that's like a cage style that's 3D printed or the ABS plastic, not like your uh, your Dementator or, you know, not any of the, the Pitbull, I believe, is another one. That ah, okay. Would be, that would be a class three rig. Uh, ah, okay. Because that's more, the buggies are kind of scaled, and a lot of guys have both like the little guy racing ripper that would be a class so, so, so it's kind of like king of the hammer style rigs yes, yes that is exactly cool. that is super that's cool not, you know um steve your your one rig that uh, i like to call the cotton candy rig oh yeah that's <laughs> right that'll kill my ripper it's not it's not fair but they're both yeah i feel rigs. you so yeah. we need yeah, the ripper see? versus ripper right yes. <laughs> There yeah. you go. Next time I come back out to Cali, we definitely have to link up and do a ripper versus ripper. Dude, that'd be so sure. fun. Yeah. Well, dude, um, that, I know that you actually podiumed on the buggy class this weekend, right? With the uh, with yeah, your uh, Mia. Can you show yes, everybody what your setup is on that little bad boy? Yeah. Um, 
and had it set up on the stand. But, oh, shoot. Is that so, a 24 goons flex cramp? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yep, Jason, I think I was like one of the very first, not the first, but I was one of the few first people to get one as soon as he made it. I was like, Yo, oh, yeah. <laughs> I need that in a tent scale one. That's um, sick. And this right now, I'm running the uh, the new uh, trail, trail burner tires. Badass. It's on stock foams at the moment because I ordered the uh, flubber slime balls, the V29s, but I didn't get them yet. So, which it was actually good because I wanted to see a comparison of stock to the flubbers. And I'll be honest, the stock foams for stock foams are very good. Wow. I mean, I just did a video today that showed it running. I can post a couple more clips, and I took second place. Um, and, and these are bigger than what I normally run on here. I normally run the uh, Proline Racing Super Swampers, the TSL okay. Swampers. Yeah. So they're a little bit smaller than these. But the tread, they were super sticky. And we run a variety of rock. Uh, we have slate. Uh, sandstone, some metallic flaky stuff that has wow. like no grip, um, and they they worked great on all of it. Uh, these are actually the Mias Racing Portals. I have, I believe. Are they Power vented? Hobby. Was the question in the chat? Oh, I didn't even see that. Yes, they. I did vent them because I was going to be putting flubs in. And I always have <laughs> tires with flub inserts. Right. Steve, so, take notes. Always, man. <laughs> I did. I took notes, finally. <laughs> I love fucking with you about that, Steve. Sorry. <laughs> I, I use a uh, a leather punch on a small setting. Just boot one Dang. up here, one down low. Exactly the same. Beautiful. Yeah. And it, it's it's great. And I'm not worried about water. This way you're because talking about. The, yes, exactly. Oh. And the flub inserts are, they can get wet. They're not the foams. They're not going to deteriorate. That's it. Yeah, it's one of my favorite features about them. So it looks like those tri those trio tires took your rig, like a performance level up, huh? Looks like. Yeah, looks I like, like that. Rig, and, brother. Look good. I think it's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> it definitely, it gave me some better clearance. Um, I was a little concerned about that, that it was going to be more top heavy. And no, it wasn't an issue at all. Um, nice, she held her own. Yes. Let's go. I you know that the system I'm running is the Micro Komodo with the uh, Lizard Pro ESC. The tried and true. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then it's just basic Endura uh, links and I believe Endura drive shafts Dang. and a Power Hobby 59 MG servo. Damn. All right. It it gets the job done. All right. It, it's, is she a beast? It's, yeah. It, I built it. It was supposed to be a joke. It was going to be my shelf queen. And this is like my favorite, most used <laughs> comp rig. That's so funny. <laughs> it really is. That's, Between that and this, port, this one for me was supposed to be just like my mini me of a 110 I have, but it's like my favorite truck to drive. Yeah. And it's probably it's the handle is so good. It looks it's great, great, man. I fucking love it. It's a, uh, Spectre XL. Okay. Nice. Yo, Jay, your pork body is the new, like, re reissued one, isn't it? Yes. This is the, the pork, That's pork correct. blazer. Yeah. It's too crazy. Yeah. I, I, it, I lucked out with it, it fitting on here. Um, this is the OGRC carbon fiber LCG chassis and then the flat skid. Um, oh, no wonder you've been taking a couple of trophies with that one too. And the flat skid helps for sure. Yes. Now, oh, I'll tell you. All right, class four yesterday. I, I had up. a flawless run up to gate nine, and I was pulling stuff and taking routes that other people weren't making. Only one person made it that way. And then when I went to nine and ten, it went to shit. I, I hit both <laughs> gates, two-handed gods, and Brandon took the win for that class. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so it, it, it's it's, always it's, that. it's a competitor. It really is. Um, it, again, it, it just was kind of like a spoof. 
Like I have the hood on magnets right there. And that <laughs> actually holds the front of the body on. Oh, I have man. it hinged in the back. I'll show you in a second. Um, I got Sick. the four boys servo. And then the magnets hold it. And the back, I took a stock ESC tray and E6000 it to the bottom. And then the uh, just screwed it to the frame. Dude, that's why I love some most of your build, man. Like you always are go above beyond with the little details and you get stuff that people can't even imagine like adding on like, dude, you got a freaking hood scoop, freaking turbo engine, scale <laughs> engine. <I'm> like, <laughs> it, it came with the model and I was like, God, it's too good not to do it. And it had the hole cut out. So I was like, how am I going to do it? I had to cut the headers. Um, so all I did was just take a piece of <laughs> a black styrene and e6000 it is a plate and then glued everything to the plate you see there you go god damn bro killing it and then the kc lights are just the decals the water decals oh, that i stuck oh. in there and then i sprayed this whole body it was a uh, gloss maroon i sprayed it with uh tamia dull and it made those stick in there yeah, and that's see what I mean. Yeah. You guys go check out J Team's page, man. Every time he's in the scale shop, you always see something sick. Whether it's a little scale accessory or the whole truck itself, man, he's always up to something in the shop. Yeah, there's always something going on here between this one. <laughs> oh, 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 go and back, <laughs> yo, ODB in the house. Yes, you know it. <laughs> he's got the whole. Election, Mark. No, I know. I just like pointing it out whenever we get them on. Yeah. All right. Um, Biggie. Yeah, dude. That shit's dope, dude. Yeah, we got, All right. we got Biggie. Oh, Randy and C. Grand. Uh, M. Master J. <laughs> yo. Yo. Oh, yo. <laughs> but, yeah. And then this is the, the 10 scale garage. Bob Bob awesome too. Bob fucking Ross. I love it. I have the flub banner underneath the uh, What's Up Wednesday. Uh, if anybody yeah, oh yeah. didn't know, every Wednesday I do a live show with Wayne's RC World, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys could jump on, join, show us your rigs, share tips. I, and I was, I was literally gonna segue you into that too. That's so funny. Oh no, shit. That's funny. Um, and yeah. then here, so I opened up with the helmet, uh, Spaz, <laughs> Prince, my boy, when he first took it over, um, I had him print these up for me. I and like that. These, <laughs> that's that's awesome. the J-Team banner in the reflection of the sunglasses. Oh, that's so cool, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll have to send you guys out some of these. Yes, please. Hey, that's funny. Yeah, man, that's yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. yeah, Brandon, that was, uh. Monster. <laughs> it was a, it was too funny. I had him like peeking out the side of the uh mic. The, yep. Yeah, <laughs> we got patches, patches hill farm, KSP, Curtis. That's what a lot of this uh three D printed stuff is. Like, this is his. I weathered it up. Uh the tool too chest, sick. the cart. Um that's actually his too. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah. You guys want to level up like J teams? Hit up RC Garages and yes. KSP. Right there. Bobby, RC Garages. He Bobby's actually the one that made the trophies for me too. Oh, um, oh nice. he, he hooks us up. He he definitely takes care of me for making these for the event. And uh these are the size for the twenty fours, the micros, and then over here is the size for for the uh, 10 scale it's 8 by 10 um this was our Dang. first comp that we did and i was like they're just they're way bigger than the truck so we figured we get the smaller one scaled down which de definitely look way better next to the truck and then if you had this next to like a 10 scale you could see it fits that's pretty dope Perfect proportions and yeah. it looks good in the pictures for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So Bobby definitely looked it up and then like I said it's at Hoagland's RC Speedway. 
and uh, BobUsRCGarages.com. And then I got my logo on there. And this is actually part of the micro course in the background, oh, which was, was built by a bunch of people local. Brandon helped build it. It was donations from a bunch of people. A uh, guy, Nick Slim, donated a ton of rock. We like to say he had a serious rock addiction because he's a tow truck driver and would legit just pull over on the side of the road and take that winch on the back of the truck and wrap it around a big ass rock and pull it on the bed. Oh, no way. Yeah, he'd pull it on the bed and bring it back to the yard and unload it and have a pile and then would go load it up. He's got an extra not a, actually a Grand Cherokee that the back he literally had it loaded up and it was like a, a mobile micro course was handling <laughs> it yeah that's dedication in my eyes um right. that's, that's what's helping make this work because it's not just myself and Joe Harrington Jersey crawler it's taking everybody locally um we have people coming from New York uh, we get Jack Killer Chassis. He comes to a lot of the events, um, almost every single one now, because um, he says there's nothing up in his area. Uh, we have people from Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania. Um, so it, it's definitely starting to get out there. And it, it's definitely, I'm hoping that it, it's going to become something big and help put New Jersey on the map because we don't have rock like California. Um, as you yeah, see. You killing it dude like that that's thank a you. huge turnout now. yeah thank you um and that was kind of like not like done on a limb but it was a couple weeks notice and and just and the other thing is that's sponsor free the only sponsor i guess i would say is, is bobby definitely takes care of me on the price of the trophies and i appreciate right. that but we didn't have any products or we just have the trophies um and it, that's saying a lot that you get a turnout like that yeah yeah no, that's wicked yeah um and, and everybody is yeah you guys have, have young kids involved as well too keeping it alive and next yes. generation you know yes kenny uh his son little kenny that kid's killing it in the kids class he could Ooh. run in the uh place to adults class and definitely give some people a run for their money um yeah you know, there might be sponsorships for kids like that with Rock On. Yeah. That you would know? be awesome. It's, to, it's to, a huge segment of RC. Yeah, it really is. Because um, it, it's it's almost, I hate to say it, but it's the same thing as the trades. You, I wish you could Imagine get if, uh, like, SCX 24 or 24 scale Rock On was, like, the equivalent of go-karting to, like, race cars. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I would on that level. do that. That would be cool. All right. Well, I think everybody's getting excited in the chat. Um, when when's when's the next event gonna be? Uh well, the next micro event's gonna be August sixth at Unreal RC. I didn't post it yet, but I'll let you guys know now. Um, it's it's a Sunday, August sixth at Unreal RC. That's at the indoor hobby shop where I uh, do the event at. Um, that's the famous spot yeah. right there, guys. That's where it all started. That's the, uh, we'll call that like the uh, Ron John's original surf shop. We'll call Unreal the original <laughs> micro comp. <laughs> that's um, funny. And then we're going to do another event. Same thing, 10 scale, UTB 18, and all the micro places uh, probably towards the end of August. Because okay. the beginning of September... September 8th through the 10th, we have the fairway crawl. If you guys oh, yeah. remember last year, that was the one on the uh, mini golf course. Yeah. yeah. That one was so, sick, too. Yeah. That, yeah. That, was, that looked super fun. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Where, Jack where, there's, the, a uh, flip, where there's a spot to crawl, we make it happen, right? <laughs> pretty, yeah, dude, pretty much. If you guys saw footage of the king of the castle, when um, we went up there, that was up in North Jersey, uh, where there's actually rock and mountains. It was my first time there. It's called Rifle Camp Park. Uh, it's a state park. And um, we went up there, and Steve and Kenny helped me set up the micro comp for that. And uh, it, it was it was crazy. Um, and it was our first, first time there. Never been there. Set up the killer comp, and we had, I don't know, 40 entries. So that, that was yeah, that was pretty good. 
and we got there at like six in the morning and the 10 scale courses weren't set up but they had chalk so we're running around the woods trying i'm just telling them look for chalk and they're like <laughs> i found some all right here and i was like all right get the hell away from it because we want to be far away from all the chalk you know um so we set up a cool course and then where we set the course up wasn't even where we should have been setting it up behind where they ran in the class two 10 scale um jack myself um rich kershaw and uh stephen kenny we found the mecca spot when i say it's the mecca spot for utv 18s 10 scales micros there's so many different ledges and all kinds of different stuff that we all need to get back up there and, and have a, a like an event just a like a fun crawl type deal only because it's a state park and you can't i don't want to get in trouble um yeah i mean <laughs> That's the cool thing about when you got diehard buddies near living near you. Like it doesn't matter if it's got to be a comp or not. Like when we want to go and make an event, we're gonna tell the homies we're gonna yeah. have a good time, you know. <laughs> and and that's the nice thing about here right now. We have an amazing group of people that come to these comps, and every time like we had that amazing turnout, but everybody wasn't there. There was a bunch of people that normally come that couldn't make it. They were they were at other events or doing other things. So it, it, we always have an amazing turnout and we can never get everybody all there at the same time. Um, I, I wish we could because that would just be awesome to have everybody. But it's just showing that there's definitely people having interest in the crawling, whether it's micros or the 10 scale. And the UTB 18s is, is popping off big time. Um, that class is, is kind of open at the moment because I didn't know where to go with it, and then I find out that they're making these little super shafties that they're turning them into. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing some of the videos of that, and I'm like, we don't even have rock for something like that. Like they're crawling <laughs> up bow bags and stuff like that. That That's why we don't do 10 scale class 3, because at the time right now, the course really isn't set up for that. You could, but then you wouldn't be able to do some of the other places. Um, True. But all in all, it, it's definitely a, a work in progress. And from that turnout, it only looks like things are going to get better as time goes on. Yeah. Well, dude, congrats for just killing it, keeping these things going, keeping the RC community thriving, and especially for the micro RC. We need a place, man. And Jersey seems to be the spot right now. And, dude, especially when you come out to do another world tour, you know we're excited over here, man. Yeah. Definitely. I, I'm definitely, uh, when I come out there, for sure, we're definitely going to link up, definitely going to do an event, uh, even if it's just a free crawl and, and, yeah. link and get together. Because uh, Columbia was killer. I wish it didn't rain. Uh, that was the only beat thing. Oh, uh, right? yeah. I, I, I was forgot it rained days. when you were there. Yeah, oh, it rained for Yeah, a long time. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, we'll have to get you out when it's some good weather. and. Yeah. There's plenty of spots, and I know you love that CDM spot. So, dude, yeah. I'm glad. I'm stoked whenever you guys get the opportunity to come back out there. And like Mark and I saying, who's got the Airbnb in Jersey, man? Because we're ready. We're ready to go. Yo. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll definitely uh, we'll figure something out and get you guys out here for sure. Uh, like I said, if you can make it happen to uh, September for fairway crawl, that's uh there's a campground that we're all staying at too there's cabins and stuff and some sick yeah well but definitely I'll jump well, off so somebody else could jump hey, on here i yo, appreciate you yo, guys Jay, you, come where on. you go man yeah send me the specs for all the bodies and classes and i'd like to donate to your prizes next comp you do and, and paint something up for each class oh wow dude that's awesome. Okay, for sure. I'll definitely will. Yes, okay. sir. And you guys make sure to swing by if you're in the area to a J Teams event. You guys don't want to miss that out. And make sure to give them a follow. And if you're on Instagram and you like Micro Mondays, dude, Wednesdays, guys. What's up, Wednesdays yeah. with yep. Wayne's RC World, guys? Yep. Definitely yep. some good times. Dude. Anytime with the RC, just chatting. I'm all about it, man. So. Yeah. Hey, Jay, we know uh, we appreciate you. There's no rush for, for you being on here. We always want to have you on, brother, but yeah, much appreciated. Anyway, 
Yeah, Talk please stay, stay on because yeah, I got your on. name on the list, homie. Yeah. <laughs> you might win. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, stay yeah. Hand, I'll just jump off. All right, Appreciate All right my guy. Well, dude, big I shout so out funny. to you again. Dude, Kenny Matlock, that's so funny. I've been saying I want to paint a truck pink. That's so, you so oh, fucking funny. Oh. But pink patina. It's going to be yeah. like fucking bar- Barbie Tina. <laughs> there you go. Barbie There's Tina. There you go. There's a guy, uh, Rich, that runs a body that he painted it pink. It was a uh, Proline Power Wagon body, and it's starting to chip off underneath so it looks pretty cool so your idea is is a killer idea and there's actually, i'm down man there's, don't there's threaten actually, me with a good time if you look go if you look at some of the footage or see i think it's md crawler um oh guy, jason jason, jason oh. edwards chilies he's an nsdrc team driver if you guys look him up his wife rachel she has the pinched nose pro line chevy body that's pink and weathered and she's an amazing driver. Like, is that um? Oh God, what's her fucking Instagram handle? I forget what um, hers is. His is MD Crawler something, I, I believe. I'll send um, you his I, profile. I, Mark, I know. It it out. Yeah, I, they're, they're both from the like, neck of the woods, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. cool. All right, my All right, guys. brother. Hey, thank much you. appreciated again, Jay. Yeah, thanks. It's always a blast to chat with you and uh, hang out there, man. You might win. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I'm just going to jump off. I'm not you. All good, I'm just jump off. <laughs> brother. We'll I catch you later. You guys, and everything you do later, guys. Peace out. Damn, guys. Oh, yeah. Shout out. Big shout out to Jay Teams RC. That was your opportunity, guys, to get in on the good on the good uh giveaway that we're gonna do tonight um while i double check what i got on my spin the wheel names mark i got i know a a topic we gotta bring up well if you guys see all these tire racks let me just show you real quick i actually got my tire rack in from flub rc guys checked out these sick 3d printed tire racks with the flub flub icon it's got a nice little shelf to put some scale gear he's actually got some uh, like scale cones some lifts high jacks and even in this little rolling dolly with removable uh drawer and best thing is they all roll guys with their wheels so they're pretty dope um but speaking of tires in jora guys the me claws are back mark what the heck are me claws <laughs> all right <clears throat> they used to be until Injora has graced us with their presence again the kind of like holy grail unicorn uh, the original micro rock crawler ultimate tire you could buy, right? They you came on the Yoko on you or no? Uh, I got, got to dig real quick, and I'll I'll do once I start this conversation, yeah, sure. and we'll jump back in. I'll dig it out because my camera's gonna go. Wah, 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 wah. Oh um, yeah, got you. Yeah, they came on the Yokoma Mini Clo, four wheel steer, dig. Well, they weren't always dig, but there's different versions. The, the ultimate one has aluminum axles, four wheel steering, and two motors, MOA, right? And dig. I mean, it's, you're talking 20, 2009, 2010 ish. When those things came out, they were way ahead, way ahead of the game for any micro crawler. Kind of sets the bar. If you find one on eBay and it says 350 to $500, buy one because you're never going to see one again. Damn. So the my claws are the tires that came on them, and they are, I think they kind of look like a cut Mickey Thompson Baja claw in a way. Those tires were pretty popular in rock crawling back then. So, But, yeah, now that Enjora has them in a better compound, these might be the GOAT tire. I haven't driven them yet but I'm just going to throw it out there. They might be the goat tire. 
in two sizes, right? 64 and was it second one they reached 56 or 57? Yeah. So well, they re originally just released that um, 64 millimeter guys this earlier this week, but just yesterday, I believe it was, they announced the smaller new size in the 56. So I think I'm going to pull them up real quick. We can take a look. There we go, guys. So here's the Endura. They call them the Swamp Claws because, you know, don't want to step on anybody's toes. But Mark, would you say that's kind of the same pattern? Dude, it's literally, to me, it looks like the exact same um, mold of the tire. Like that literally, other than them putting their own words on there, the, the Swamp Claw. I don't think Meeklaw's actually had anything on the sidewall, unless I forgot something. But it's exactly the same mold, without a doubt. You guys got a set coming your way. Let us know if you picked up the 56s or the 64s. And I think uh, the 64s, they'll fit like a club slime ball, a V4 size. And then probably the 56s, I would say maybe a V22. So there are your options right there. What else? Oh, hot racing, guys. If you guys like hot racing, back in the day, guys, and still today, honestly, these are some of my favorite shocks. I know Mark is on the Enjora wagon now, but these shocks, guys, they offer nice dampening with the oil. You do have to keep up the maintenance make sure that they're not leaking but as you can see it's pretty smooth um but hot racing is trying to keep up with proline because proline just uh had their um let me grab it their big bore shocks recently released here you guys can see the big bore shocks from proline oh my bad guys but uh hot racing is actually coming out with their big bore shocks as well and i think i might just just have to pop uh put it online but check out keep an eye out for the hot racing uh big bore shocks i believe they will be 36 millimeters mark so not exactly a 38 but not exactly a stock 32. i'm i'm okay with that because i always live in mind about that same length anyway okay so keep an eye out for those guys. They actually have a nice seal or bladder, whatever you want to call it. That reminds me of some like high quality 110 scale shocks. So I'm wondering if those are the golden ticket for a quality oil filled micro shock. They'll be coming soon. And anything else did we miss? Um, don't know. Let me double check real quick. <clears throat> oh, DJ Crawler. Oh, I got these wheels right in front of me. These aren't DJ Crawler wheels, but these are new uh, wheels that I found, guys. Let me go ahead and we'll just take off the phone. That'll be easier. So... Check these out, guys. As you guys can tell, I'm doing a wheel swap or a tire swap on the pit bull. I'm going to put the trail ones just like J Teams was showing us. Um, but these wheels, guys, they're pretty cool. I found them on um, AliExpress. Pretty affordable, like 15 bucks. It's like a, what, what five piece design mark? Look at it. So you got yeah, the back face, crazy. the front face, ring, inner ring, and hex removable yeah. hexes the base of them guys remind me of like some sweet methods something like that I haven't built them yet i was doing some research on these these are actually like a 20 hole <laughs> beadlock ring so it's a lot more than trio but the main more scale thing hardware. yeah a way more scale hardware these rings guys i was actually trying to do some r d I'm like, okay, they look to be about the same height as a as a trio one, but they are, are wider. 
So I'm like, okay, uh, that's not too bad. But the downside is that these trio ones, the inner diameter is just a little too small to fit on the wheel. Makes me wonder if it's that in between Injura rim. What do you say? I think it might be that in between Injura rim, oh, where it's like like the one point oh plus. Yeah, where they're like a little bit skinnier than their normal, and a little bit more like the uh, the trio style. Okay. So I'm basically looking on the hunt for some brass inner rings, guys. These come as aluminum, but just like Mark said, um, the trio. 1.0 pluses and now real quick before we uh wrap this up here are some trio type b rims right here and check this out mark so here's the inner diameter yeah of the wheel and then here is the inner diameter of this wheel so right off the back it is definitely larger guys wow so more clearance you guys happen to make some custom weights or something like that you know just more, more clearance you can tuck the portals in look at that mark all the way to the to the end if you, you really might want to instead of the rings you might be able to get away with um the lower weights the slug weights oh you're right huh if someone wanted to do that um, guys, like, if you like want to, I would be interested, man. I want to, I want to see what's going on with those, but I'll share the link on my story. If you guys want to yeah. check these out, we'll do more R and D on those, but the DJ crawler dude, uh, he's actually been releasing, you know, those big ass tires. He has some new 1.0 wheels too. Mark. Those are those like silver and with the gold beadlock rings. They kind of reminded me of some race lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah, the yeah gonna, like and he them. knows what's up. His rings uh, are compatible with Trio, I believe. So he has wanted to rock, rock like aluminum inner rings or something like that. Check out out uh, DJ Crawler. But with that being said, guys, yo, did you create your list yet? I did. We're ready to spin. Okay. okay. A couple of people yeah. jump on late, so. I know. With that being said, the list has been made, guys. Who knows when I was going to cut it off. That's why you got to be watching live in order to win. So I got some names here. It's a lot of names. But we got almost 40 people. I got 42 people, so that means uh, someone, a couple people aren't here. But, guys, this will be a first drawing right here. One lucky winner. Winner will win the nice flat mat by Cow RC with the RC Steve custom logo on it. It's magnetic and laminated. You will be getting a Spaz Prince scale banner, Cow RC. Did and you it yet? Or what? huh? Did you include me yet? <laughs> I got you, bro. I got I'm you. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, dude. We got an RC Steve decal <laughs> sheet, and are we doing a dirty, dirty customs uh, swag pack too? Do you want to do it tonight or next week? Let's 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 go with the build up. We'll give them something to look forward to next yeah. week. Yeah, you guys just got the, the sneak peek. I might, so. I might throw something else in. You never know. Hey, yeah, make it really be worth your while. We'll build it up over the week. But watch our stories, yeah. share and share with everybody else. All right, so we're zooming in guys we're zooming in on the list right here good luck boys and girls if you did win this one last week or the week before um and you happen to win again you know i'm gonna have to uh skip you but you know i'm feeling good if you do win i still got something for you guys so that being said let's go good luck guys i'm gonna shuffle the names and let's go. Boom. Who's winning this one? The winner is... Oh, Stink RC, but...
But we have to check, right? Got to check. Oh, shoot. He's on play. I like it. I'm opening up a fresh Instagram, guys. Let's see what we got. Sorry, I'm on like hot spot today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is he following Cow RC? Oh, oh. I do not see a Cow RC. It would, it would be right at the top. That's what we've been learning. So I'm sorry, Stink. But you got to be following Cow RC. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see if he's following. Following. That's what we did last time that yeah. messed up. Oh, my boy. There see? I'm sorry. See? My bad. Stink did win. <laughs> Look at that, guys. <laughs> Stinky. I'm glad you caught I that. I got you, bro. to correct you again. Yeah. Just. Send me the DM though, Stink, so that way you're not forgotten, bro. Hey, congrats, my guy. Mm -hmm. In a sweet little Hell setup good. for your micro builds. And yeah. let's go on to the Yo, grand and prize. Stink, bro, he combined both my hats and he's been rocking that shit. You know, you and Umi, man, I appreciate you guys so much. That's so fucking cool. Out in Riverside. Right. Don't even really know me. You just know Steve, and Steve and I are cool, and makes us all cool, and it's fucking, that's how RC should be. <laughs> that is, that's why it is cool, man. We love everybody. So, you guys been waiting over an hour. As if who's going to take this big bad boy home? The Cow RC, uh, Banner mm -hmm. by Spaz, Decal Sheet, RC Steve. Let's go back over here, guys. Let's go back, refresh. And let's remove stink. All right, guys. And with that being said, make sure to get your pre order for a dirty customs hat. Here we go, guys. Congrats and good luck, guys. Let's go. Boom. Oh, no, it's the whole pack, G. We'll do uh, whatever logo hat you want. Limited edition decals. Oh, oh. Flat, sorry. And my my old loyal faithful homie, he's been trying hard since week one. We've been giving these out. Look at that. Well, let me double check. Small time crawler. We gotta check. Small time crawler. Ah man, what's going on? It's freaking hot spot, man. There it is. There he is. Is right there. Zoom on in. Following Cal R C. Yep. There you go, bro. Check yeah, that bug and that Nissan he's got. Oh, not too. Man, look at what he's up yeah. to, too, guys. He's not playing. Yeah. He is not playing. Damn. Buy that shit. Yep. Oh, let's go. Oh, yep, shit. Yep, yep. Well deserved, bro. Yep. And congrats, I that. guys. I, I want to yeah. do a truck like that in that Japanese style cartoony. Look at that shit, dude. Oh, that's his 110? Is that a Phoenix? It looks anyway, like a killer, yeah, bro. Glad uh, you are following Cow RC. Please send me a DM, bro. That way I can stay on top of everything and get your package out. But, guys, with that being said, you know, it's Micro Mondays. We always got something going on over here for everybody, whether it's giveaways, tech talk, chilling out, partying, having guests on. <clears throat> we do appreciate everybody always wanting to come on. Right. Uh, can't do it without you know the community. Big shout out again to J Teams RC for hopping on. Yeah, right. Make sure you guys go sure. check him out. Tune into a What's Up Wednesdays and hit up his micro comps. And for all the guys doing the comps everywhere else, Twenty Four Goons, Gino. Uh, we got guys on the East Coast, guys in NorCal, Pacific Northwest. 
rest. It's all it's all going off, guys. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it growing. Keep the micro scene popping. With that being said, Mark and I, we appreciate you. Anything you want to say, Mark? Yo, lock in, lock out. Hit me up for anything you guys need. Steve, Ooh. thank you again for pushing me to the limit. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll see you next week. There you go, guys. Hey, shout out again, everybody. Appreciate everybody just hanging out, tuning in, and joining the Micro Mondays. Hope everybody has a great rest of the week. Feel free to tag us. We will share. We will repost. And we will chat. So peace out, guys. Have a good one. Later.